So you bought all those plugins and now the world is forcing you to abandon your operative system so that you can no longer use the plugins that you use just in every project. You have 20,000 MIDI and audio interfaces and all of them, they have USBs, but every laptop you are looking for has just got only one USB port and it's also not the right one. Tech is becoming more and more expensive and fragile while your musician wage is becoming thinner and thinner and is also still fragile. Well, today we're gonna take a look at this five years old laptop to see if it is any good. We're talking about the Lenovo ThinkPad T470. Is it really true that you need the latest and greatest for music production or is this good enough? We're gonna check this one out. I am Ale Loy, this is Ale Suggest, audio and video suggestions for a creative mind, and let's get this video started. Tech reviewers are trying to convince us pretty hard that we need the latest and greatest technology in order to be creative the right way, but I'm here to actually tell you the total opposite, because when it comes to actually having a speedy workflow, I think what's working best is actually get to know your own gear and having something that is really, really reliable and you can count off and it's got everything you need. You don't need extra dongle and shit. In fact, the first reason why I love this laptop is actually that it's got ports. It sounds like nothing, but you know, it's got ports. So the future may be Thunderbolt, sure. But the present, when it comes to music, it is still USB. And actually it's not even USB-C, it's actually USB. I get it, you know, Thunderbolt is much faster and it's directly connected to the motherboard, but there is not many music devices that are Thunderbolt and whatever devices are out there are actually really expensive. And if you own those very expensive audio interfaces, I guess you wouldn't be watching this video, which is being titled Best Budget laptop. The reason number one why I love this laptop is actually that it's got three 3.1 gen 2 USB. The old USB. Uh, not the really old, the old fast one. It's got three of them and also you got your Thunderbolt. So that's a sort of future and past ready. In the very very odd scenario that your camera may have an SD card, well you have a full SD card slot as well in this laptop. Oh and this laptop has also got the headphone jack combo with microphone combined. I mean it's a shame, I know, it's a waste of space. Yes I know, security, security, security. But if you feel frisky, you're one of those pirates hackers, crazy people that want to install Windows 7 on your laptop in 2021. Well, on this laptop you can if you buy the right one. And what I mean by that is actually only the laptop that ships with the i5 or i7 6th generation will be able to allow you to install that. If you haven't tried this already, you need to trust my words. If you want to install Windows 7 on these modern laptops, it's like a mission impossible. Manufacturers have made this incredibly difficult, if not, just not possible at all. So if you care about that, well, it's there. Obviously you can install Windows 10 too, and Windows 7, see? You got choices. Speaking of choices, do you want to install 32 gigs of RAM on this laptop for cheap? You can, it's got dual slots and both of them are replaceable. Do you want to swap the old battery? You can, it's got two batteries, one is internal, one is external, both of them are replaceable. The external one actually is gonna pop right off from the external side, you don't need to dismantle anything. Do you want to install an NVMe? You can. Do you want to install a 2.5 inches drive? You can. Do you want to install an M SATA drive? You can. Do you want to have two drives simultaneously? You can. So you see, you got options here. Other things that I like about is that it's fairly lightweight with its 1.6 kilograms of weight. I mean, it's not the lightest, the thinnest, but it's not too bad. Another thing that I liked is actually it's got a matte display, which is actually really good when you're using it. You don't get the reflection. I usually hate glossy displays. So this is actually 
lovely to use and is actually a 1080p display so the resolution is there i think you can pick this one out with the touch screen version as well it's not a bad display and 14 inches is just the right size when you're working outside it's just allowing you to do the job just fine this has got usb-c for charging although don't expect to charge it with just your normal phone charger you will need a specific very powerful charger but it's there or otherwise you can charge it with the usual Lenovo brick square tip charger which is very cheap to find online so you can actually buy multiple of them and scatter them around the house it has got a very good keyboard i mean thinkpads are famous for having a very good typing experience and this is not exception at all i mean the model that i got is also got a backlit so you can actually see it in the dark another reason why you may want to consider this laptop is because it's got a good variety of docking stations really you can use the old school dock station that goes just just underneath the laptop or you can pack one that is USB or one that is USB-C, one that is Thunderbolt. So again, you got plenty of choices there. Obviously there are some negatives. So the first one will be for me that is obviously not the lightest laptop in the world, which means that sometimes when you're packing a lot of stuff, you know, it may be a little bit too heavy, but 1.6 is actually not too bad. It is also not the thinnest laptop in the world, but to be honest, you got the advantage there, you got all those ports, you have a full Ethernet port there, you have a full HDMI, where is it this year? A full HDMI, so you know, I'm happy with this. But when it comes to aesthetic, perhaps the most annoying thing is that it looks pretty boring. It's not the sexiest laptop in the world, it's a bit anonymous. So if you plan to have this one on stage, um, I don't think this is gonna look that good. Although, personally, I believe that laptops on stage, they don't look good at all anyway, even though you have one of those fancy, white, glossy ones. It doesn't do the yoga thing, you can only open it this much, but it doesn't become a 3-in-1, 2-in-1, uh, so it doesn't do the yoga thing. Also, even though I think you can pick this laptop in its touch version still, the pen won't work with that, so if you need for something like Photoshop or things like that, bear that in mind. Its color gamut is only 73% sRGB and also combined with the fact that this laptop does not have a dedicated video card, it makes it not the best laptop to work with if you intend to use it for video editing or color grading or After Effects, that sort of stuff. But I mean, otherwise this video would have been titled the best budget video editing machine in the world. And it's not. Wait a minute, Ale, are you really recommending a dual core laptop in 2021? Well, for music production, perhaps it's not really the biggest of a deal, simply because not only your DAW needs to be designed to use all the cores of your laptop, but also every single plugin you use needs to be designed in that way. So if you're using sort of like old plugins or even some of the modern ones, uh, well, doesn't really make a lot of difference. Actually, there are many scenarios in which using a dual core is actually more convenient than a quad core, simply because the dual core has got a higher frequency. So if you're using a DAW that takes advantage only of one core, if this core has got the highest frequency, then it's better for you. So it could be actually better potentially to have a dual core. I picked up mine for 300 bucks and then I modded with another extra 100 bucks. I added 16 gigs of RAM and dual drive and that costed me in total 400 British pounds, which is not bad considering that this is a pretty well performing machine and it's pretty rugged. I mean, Lenovo is famous for their military test as well as this laptop has got spear resistance, which means that if you are on a stage and something happens, it should be fine. As well as if you're in studio, your drummer is clumsy and spill bears on it, it should be fine. But don't quote me on that. So if you enjoyed this review, please share some love, 
press the like button and subscribe it really helps the channel a lot i'm ale Loy. this is ale suggests audio and video suggestions for the creative minds and i will see you here very soon